yo, I'm Lizard Chase. Welcome back to my playthrough of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, next gen update on PlayStation 5. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave it a like. Let me know down in the comments. And also, if you haven't yet, please make sure you're subscribed. It helps me out a whole lot. Thank you guys for all the support. Let's do this. All right, guys. Another so, in from Tamaria. I went ahead and uh, before we go to Dandelion, uh, I've hit level 20. Uh, I just had need to get a little bit more XP. And so what I did was, uh, from that uh, quest that we did at the Devil's Pit, I finally was able, I met the level requirements. Uh, I crafted and equipped the, equip, equipped, equipped the Forgotten Wolven School Armor, uh, which is the new armor that they put in the game that ties in with the uh, season one of the Netflix Witcher show. So looks awesome, really like it. Uh, also got the steel and silver swords and, uh, yeah, this requires level 20. It's actually pretty good gear. Um, I like it a lot. I'm not sure if there's a, uh, we'll be able to enhance the armor any further or not. Uh, but also side note, the, one of the swords, I believe it is. Yeah. The steel sword. I think it might be either be the steel or the silver sword, but one of the sword is going to cost you a couple thousand uh, points because it has a uh, one of the crafting components is a flawless ruby. Now I had plenty of rubies, um, but I didn't have any flawless rubies, so I had to buy one. Um, thankfully, I had enough other stuff that I was able to sell and I was able to buy one of the ruby buy a flawless ruby um it requires a flawless ruby for the crafting so just keep that in mind it does look really really awesome though i like this armor set the griffin school armor set is pretty cool i like the way that it looked I, li I like the design of it i'm just not a big fan of the color green i don't think the color green fits Carol very well i like it more in like black or blue or uh like the browns of like the the Urson school gear, just I don't know that color that shade of green doesn't doesn't fit right. It doesn't fit right with Geralt. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, we're done uh, crafting that. So let's go like find Dandelion. Side. Off to the Rosemary and Time. Well, well, oh. I'm not a freak. Uh. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> that and so pretty, but he can't keep his hands off himself. Oh, this one's this way's a lot. We gotta go, I guess. Right? I'll never come back, you stinking. <laughs> Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. Gear out in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. Uh-oh. All right. Time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? Of course. With pleasure. The witcher will crack! The witch will kill him! Ever fight a witcher? Can't give me back! Oh, reminds me of a piece of oh, no, <laughs> Yeah, almost like we never left Bergen. Told you this place was not good. That's right, run. I'm pleased. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look hey, good. Zoltan. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian Lager standing in just fine. You, though, you've withered a bit. Something worrying you. <sighs> Got some problems. Rather not burden you. Fuck off, Geralt. Need to spill your guts to me now. Yeah, Zoltan's a friend. We gotta tell him. 
I'm looking for Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh. Yeah. Not good. Nope. Not at all. But I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem then. Dandelion's in trouble. There's a few things. Let me guess. Triss? Yennefer, perchance? Triss and I talked. Cleared some things up. As for Yennefer, well... So you found her! Ha! Need to tell me all about it. I will. Some other time. Got something a tinge more important to take care of now. Meaning? Where's Dandelion? Ha! <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned, as you saw. I'm expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale. And what do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Mm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Oh good, I also have my loot stash over here as well. Let's see here, I'm gonna go ahead and put those there. I crafted a extra feeling silver sword by mistake. And the root, this one I wanna put away as well. Okay. Aha, a note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning cords. Well, um, before I interact with the uh, the main stuff, I do want to loot the place. Letter from Fran. Oh. Uh. Oh God, look at that. <laughs> Get out, pal. Oh, look at that portrait of Dandelion over, what is that, is that a wyvern or a basilisk of some kind? Jeez. Hmm. 10 barrels of Tucson dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 that's exactly what we're looking for. It says planner. Huh. Dandelion and planning. Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late. Oh. The dog. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Suit you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. <laughs> right, you are. 
Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Okay, cool. Nothing else. Alright, let's look at, uh... The planner. Roosevelt, Alter, Molly. <clears throat> like a rose abashed of a crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. Jeez. Okay. The faculty of Oxenford University is honored to grant Julian Alvaro Pankratz, Viscount de Letinov, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Huh. Interesting, okay. Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hold something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, <laughs> examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. She did a kind of half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. <laughs> oh! The bastard fled out the window. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs, what Rosa Var Atre named her Guihir. Well chosen, eh? All right. But Var Atra? Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador. Oh. Yes. You know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? More than one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. What mm. has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim? I mean, instructor. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Ah, uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty's like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka straight up. Well... 
know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. Head. Head out. We got a Fuck. bunch of people to talk to you. So we'll go talk to Vespula first. Junior claims you agreed to pay him more. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Oh, hey, 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 What's hey. What you hoping for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Yep. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. This has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Mine. Mine. Offered her a better rate. All right. So, let's see if you're a good bargain or just cheap shit. Pathetic. to thank me it was nothing sorry don't get me wrong i'm grateful but everything i had i just lost ah. relax it'll come out in the wash of course it will just gotta soak it in white vinegar but that's not my point junior shan't forgive me either i'll close up shop myself or he'll burn me down sorry didn't think about that a woman's lot Men have their fun, and we're stuck with a mess. Oh, well. I suppose I must move to Oxenfurt. Professors need clean undergarments, too. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out. Through the balcony. Mm -hmm. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring, that horse pheasant, that Ooh. lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. Twas the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Sounds about right. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about exactly? Oh, this and that really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covir. <laughs> Horvir, more likely. Ooh, burn. Course it so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him. He's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. Dandelion with the, uh, with the Riz. Okay. <laughs> Have a hard time finding any work here, watch out. All right. Ilihal. Is that how you pronounce your name? Ilihal? Ilihal? He's right up here. Papers. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Do he's come right up here. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Elihal. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. 
You, Eliel? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought... Thought Eliel was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Yeah, me too. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? So you're... Elihau. Did you and Dandelion... That's how you pronounce it. I'm... Elihau. How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. Oh. I mean, Dandelion is very progressive. Nothing wrong with that. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. How'd he take it? Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. Mm -hmm. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Oh, that's nice. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did mm -hmm. you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Pockets are useful. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although... Indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Interesting. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. That'd be You're cool. too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on impressive fiery beasts circled his pyre then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters really what did they spell radovid sucks flaccid cock yes what a way to go that's awesome what a way to go fantastic also this guy's a tailor and uh it would be really awesome my only complaint about this armor, about this armor set uh, from the Netflix show is the neckline right here. That. Fix it. Fix it. That doesn't look, that doesn't look fine. That, that, it needs to, like, give, like, a proper collar or something. I know this is none of my business. Oh, God. Why do you, why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I oh. became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. Agreed. I'm a Danian countess one day, a dockside thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. That's actually a pretty good way of thinking Have about you it. I never thought to become someone else, even for a moment. Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. Well, would you like to be Geralt? I managed to stay interested. Oh, really? Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Excellent. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Uh, yeah, actually. Glad to take a glance at what you got. I just want of to take course, a look real please quick. do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. You know what? I really wish that uh could actually meet Elihan in real life. I need a good tailor. That would be excellent. I, I kind of need a really good tailor. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, I want to buy the wolf mask for later on. Oh, that's right. I really don't have that much money either. <laughs> uh... I'm pretty sure I have these already somewhere. Ooh, the elegant Skilliga shirt. 
I might need that for later. Eh, that's fine. I got them. I got them with mask. So long. Actually, let's stick it on real quick. Oh, can I not wear it right now? Nice. Wolf mask. Okay, let's take it off. All right, off to our, uh, let's see here. Good. Marabella. I'm gonna fast travel to get closer to her. Oh, there's really no good fast travel. Oh, we'll, we'll go here. Excuse me. Now that's drift and even some of burn the pies in winter, we might at least warm ourselves. They're no use to us now. <coughs> Life, you gotta take risks and not give. <laughs> School teacher? Excuse me, I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside, class is in session. I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not come oh, off. Oh, you can all go suck a devil. Yeah. <laughs> By stealing our work, those Temerians. Okay, cool. I saw it. Because not. How do you know? Mum says that if he buck. Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh, yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems. No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe. Interesting. No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life, but he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? Horses have always fascinated me. I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Uh, the... Did you see any of my work at Dandelions? Mere exercise is true, but I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. Uh, no, no. Didn't see any. Gee up! The snakely whip rose skyward. Gee haw! Crack! She reined the beast in. The stallion danced betwixt her thighs. Lava bathed its chinny chin chin. Sorry, don't know much about poetry. Okay. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Damn Planning something. He's asked a bunch, about a bunch of different hey, things. Watch it. I think I might know. I think I might. Re I think I might remember what it is. But I'm not 100% sure. It's been so long since I've played. I'm a witcher. As they say, a bard must be a quick talker. Okay. Great has got the imagination of a drunk.
this Baronet's love Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is right now. Be gone. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep? Surely this is no chance encounter? Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistake in you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. We do. Yeah, we had an opportunity to, uh, talk when the Emperor summoned me to Vizima. Had you run afoul of Var Emery's? No. You'd be long dead if that were so. It seems, then, that you share some interests. But I shan't question you out of doors. Will you accept my invitation? Tell me what brings you here. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maidservant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbach. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Sure. Well, if Molly will be there. On our way, then. Very nice. Loading, loading, loading. The Vagel Buds. State. We've arrived. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Grey's a nice color. For horses, too. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrot, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. Huh. Gerald with the jokes. Know anything about the chestnut or the bay? The chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood Ritanian, gallant steed, but too headstrong for my taste, difficult to control. <laughs> and the bay hails from Zericania. Lord de Volta acquired him recently. I know little about him, though Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stamina. Is Molly a horse? Pardon? I did come here to see Molly, after all. Patience, Witcher. She ought to arrive soon. I asked Molly to join us as soon as she was done with her chores. She shouldn't be long now. All depends what you asked her to do, my lady. But I don't really have a choice. I'll wait. Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. Mm. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. All right. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? The Grey Mare looks nimble. Besides, knew a man named Kai here once. I'll go with her. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. In that case, I shall try my luck on the Zeracanian Bay. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. Oh, racing, racing. Not the best at racing. Riders ready! I 
adore the speed. Now, the Gideon. Let's see what you're made of. Don't spare the horse. Come on, Witcher. Let's see what you're made of. No, you stay right behind me. When... What a thrill! A beautiful victory! Thanks. For one for whom every horse is a roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle. My congratulations. That is yours. Now, could I talk to your chambermaid, milady? Ah, oh, yes, Molly. That is why you came here, after all. The portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. And you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. Ah, nothing hurts as much as life. I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelions rescued time and time again. Uh... What? <laughs> That's Actually, right. Yeah. Except it's the other way around. I'm always saving him. Mean to say it weren't Dandelion saved you in Flotsam by severing your noose with an arrow from an hundred paces? What? Dandelion couldn't... <laughs> Never mind. Any idea where our master archer might be at the moment? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says dandelions are good for nothing layabout. Can you imagine? But... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why'd he need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. He said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But well, I've not seen him since. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they've different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Thanks, Molly. Wait. Before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. And I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks. And good luck to you on your search. All right. Return to Novigrad. Washed your hair lately. Ah, Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Ah, uh, yeah. Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go.
day beats fast traveling on your own, right? And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. All right, now we need to go find Rosa. You know, I chased the pansy all the way to the garden. Well, we Did crossed you catch the yard, we no, were crossed the ponta. Driving well. in. What do you want? Rosa Varadra is expecting me. Supposed to give her lessons in swordplay. Come with me. Miss Rosa awaits. That was easy enough. I hope you realize what you've got yourself into. I hope so too. This rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grab a wooden one. Take care not to hurt the little miss. Follow me. Instructor? Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood to start with. I must know your worth. when you can barely handle one. Never fight a witcher. Damn it! Well fought. You're much better than the last one. I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? I'm a witcher. I'm looking for- A witcher? That's splendid. I always wanted to meet a witcher. This is so exciting. Uh, what's so exciting about it? Living on the edge. Tracking, then facing down beasts. Sleeping under the stars. Oh, it must be wonderful. Hmm. Uh, Try uh, fighting yeah. a zoogle while up to your neck in sewage. Nothing quite like it. Not one of the high points, I suppose. Wait, weren't you about to ask me something? Before I ask, gotta admit, you do pretty well with a sword. One pointer. Don't expose your left flank when you dodge. Oh, I know. Terrible habit. Can't seem to get rid of it. I'd hope to find someone in Novigrad who could help me to do so. But... Don't you dare try to dazzle me with advice. Already admitted you're not here to give me lessons. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Stop flaunting and fight. Drat it. You're quick. Why bother with two swords when you can barely handle one? Oh! Ah! Oh! Ooh! 
Not an instructor, you should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. I like her. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix ups mastermind Edna Va Atra. The greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Wait a minute. Mean to say Dandelion mixed you two up? On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could ah. explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poets worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen. I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna! What? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We hmm. set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. Interesting. Bet sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? Wonder how the war's going. Any outcome looming? Papa says much depends on Radovid, and on who captures Novigrad first. What's Novigrad got to do with it? Free city. Never taken sides. Always stayed out of conflicts. Oh, even children know Novigrad's home to the world's largest fleet. And they say the city's treasury is bursting with enough to equip two armies. Emperor continuing to push north. Courtiers must be ecstatic. His confidants must be. But Papa says that's not likely to last much longer. Why not? Papa says the war's disrupting trade, and people are tired of financing the Emperor's adventures. Oh, that's not good for Emirate. Changing subjects. Who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman, not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Sure. Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here tomorrow? Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. Ooh la la. She's jealous.
All right, please equip my gear correctly. Is my gear okay? Okay, we're good. All right, awesome. I thought I could have sworn I saw a chest down here somewhere. That was just that. I don't know, guys. Something about a strong woman who can uh, fight, man. Uh, this way. I know how. To, I know how. Uh, I know how doors work. A deserter from the Squire Town. You're a bigger rat picker than me! So, how you go with this evening? I was up and about minding <laughs> my own business when suddenly up he pops and heals me. Double chase. Behave, Witcher. No, look at this estate of mine. Your Zoltan, you old. What's this? Ah, you're back! You met Poppy? She ought to stop talking any day now. Zoltan, venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure, you know me that well. Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwent with us in no time. But we were to talk about dandelion. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Women on my list hadn't seen dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, mystery woman wasn't on my list. What she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. Okay. It's Priscilla. Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Why wasn't she on the list? Mm. This Priscilla wasn't like the others. I think down the line more than fancied her. I think it was fair of her. He lusts after every other woman he meets. How can I explain? Who does Dandelion love most? Himself. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And she's his mirror image. Oh god, not another one. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more? The laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummer's Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. You mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Alright. Oh Off my. we go. What village are you from? Willows. It's into my area two days road from the Zima. I was a war veteran. Spare me a crown. the appetite on your way or will you stay longer it's far safer with you i guess uh, zoltan's not here yet so we'll the right cabbage it feels like it's full of sauerkraut your peepers so strange
Ah, here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. Please don't be copyrighted. I know what this is. Please don't be copyrighted. That song always gives me chills every single time that I've heard it. It's so good. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's arse. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. 
There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music? Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is. Mm. Permit me to introduce uh, uh, this year's Priscilla, known also as Calinetta, as lovely as she is talented. And this is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Mm, or should yes. I say, sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. Smart. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Reuven. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, yeah. I'd agree. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. Forgot to pay for his wedding to pass a floor at once. I made awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere. But it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. Yeah, yeah. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, mm -hmm. Carlo the Cleaver Vares, yep. and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't they cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. Yep. He ought to pay me a salary. He should. Whoever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well, I've got bugger all to do here. Heading back to the Rosemary. You Anybody there? Open up. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Don't Tell care. him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Reuben we'll have time to see you. Uh-huh. Wanna bed? Everybody wants to talk to Geralt. <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. 
Happen. That's a, a somewhat unfortunate name. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You may disrobe here. Your equipment will be safe. Splendid. Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. Hi, Whitehead. Nice bum you have. <laughs> you were right. He doesn't Thank you. Cut off his hand, then not even shut up the corpse's ass. And then he sent the body back. He was his bigger. He's hung like a horse. <laughs> Clear that you've not seen Reuven. Yes. Gudrun calls it Erberon. Not to come. Easy, Cleaver. Poor son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. Oh, you so don't Cleaver. have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when and only when all of us say I. Oh, they're all under here, except for Horson. Reuben, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? I'm a witcher. Problems with your plumbing? Nah, it's under control. Geralt's a friend from the old days. Although... Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. First ever body with my prick hanging out. Big son Junior sends his regards. Keep it together, legs! Don't want to stop it! Fuck! Keep it together, legs! Mummy! We need to have you in the Baron Bowby! Good work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse on scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. Not gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam you know, but then who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the dwarfs Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. How are you, Reuven? Disappeared for a few years there, only to reappear here in Novigrad? Oh, I've been here, there. Spent some time in Zeracania, matter of fact. Hmm. What did you do in the desert? Sought oneness with nature. Magical place, really. But I missed civilization, so I'm back. Aim to plant roots in Novigrad, become a respected citizen. And who knows, someday, maybe even a town councillor. Hmm. I'm looking for Horson Jr. 
Interesting. What do you want with him? It's personal. <laughs> uh, Geralt takes his privacy very seriously. Spying on him, having him followed, was a bloody nightmare. Still, <laughs> he was lots more trusted when he was looking for Marigold. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Horse sons out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse Sun's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, Geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find Horse Sun? Find me first. I need to find Horson. Now looks like I gotta get to him before Cleaver does. Cleaver won't find him easy. Junior's good at hiding. He's got peasant smarts. Look at the mm. time. Good luck in your search, Witcher. I'll call on you tomorrow, Francis. We'll finish our chat. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. I had my reasons. Your leg would be fine if you hadn't gotten in my way. I see. Well, I promise you that if I could go back in time, I'd do things quite differently on Thanid. For example, I'd have my men kill you instead of just tying you up. Oh, Listen, come Ruben. on. No, Dijkstra. Just yep. not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Gotcha. Your partner's aware of your past? They know you're Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? <laughs> Cleaver, Bedlam, and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we'd built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. But we just need to stay out of each other's ways, agree from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect. But we just don't talk about it. No need to. Fair enough. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet and lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house, though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with a casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf. 
but you'll have to enter through the pits, endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. You in contact with Radovid? <laughs> see, you're as witty as ever. No, I'm not in contact with him. I prefer it remain that way. Never quite forgave you for conspiring with Philippa Eilhart? Radovid doesn't forgive. No, not he does anything. not. Not anyone. And especially not the sorceress of the Lodge. Philippa Eilhart. Had any news? Just good. Meaning? After Radovid popped her eyes out, she disappeared without a trace. If I have any luck, she's finally eating dirt. Thought you two were close. Yeah. We were, until Philippa sent assassins after me. Ouch. From Master Spy to Master Criminal. Interesting progression. Why? Truth be told, they're awfully similar. Both about maintaining a net of informers, being tough in negotiations, bribing officials, the occasional assassination. Same old shit. Yeah. Except you used to do that in the name of some ideal. And now? Now I've decided I've slaved enough for ideals. It's time I worked for myself. Mm. And thus far, it's been going rather well. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as yeah, I'm concerned, <laughs> he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Maybe. Of course I do. Yeah. Are you serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. Oh. The bastard shan't get away with it. Uh, I was being serious. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. Got me own problems. Problems you might be able to help me with. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. I'll get paid on top of that, right? Nothing for free, eh? Did you bargain this hard when Emma wanted to hire you? Who told you? What do you mean, who? Emma did. Ha <laughs> ha. I could never reveal my sources to you or anyone else. It would be fucking unprofessional. But we've chatted enough. Yeah, I'll pay you. Count on it. So, can I count on you? All right, what do you need? Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to.
Oh. Secret door. Be so kind as to follow me. Almost completely fell in. Ooh, loot. Oh, Bart, not again, Bart. Stop that! Now! Bart! Bart! Bart makes Ziggy lose Jonathan! Beating your head against the wall won't change that. Bart hurt! Bart less thinky! Bart less thinky! Bart sad less! Where'd you get the troll? From Zerikania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling? I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot there. Ziggy Bart take. Good Ziggy. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it, until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Okay. Then boom! Chorfun go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold. And all the lighter stuff, and you will help me get it back. Why don't you handle this? Gotta have connections in the underworld. What do you need a witcher for? <sighs> the gold wasn't mine alone. See, I run a members only savings club, a bank for the initiated. For reasons that should be obvious, I prefer it if my temporary liquidity problems remained private. So I need an outsider. How do you know you can trust me? I don't. Counting on your survival instinct. Slip up, and I'll kill you. Feed you to Bart. Bart, sorry. Bart jumped that good. Okay. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. No. Which are mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart? No. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Jorfun. Oh, God. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Yeah. <laughs> Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? 
No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Oh no. Boom. Hole. Bad look. Makes won't sense. Go. Bad look. No. Only sleep. Bad shoes. Head fall. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom. Big. Uh, this like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yeah. Yes. But. But. Troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, through hole. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Jorfun, gone. Bad troll. Or Bart. Now, now, stiff up a lip. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox fonts, thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pop antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. Uh -huh. Then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. Mm. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped Fonz and ran like hell. Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it... No! Didn't notice a fucking thing. Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis, either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula, too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life. Here. Thanks. You've not to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Okay, cool. at the time of the explosion. Blast tore it from the wall. Bits of pipe clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. Fine grating. Couldn't push much through that.
just curled out. Something inside blew it wide open. Wall two. Hmm. Bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. Now why am I not finding pieces of it? Could be the current swept them away. Drowners. Of course. Okay, I got everything. Definitely came through here. The thug Dijkstra hired. Mm -hmm. of a container. Silver cylinder most likely. Room is etched in the bottom. It's warped. Probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be. Smells like wyvern oil and caramel. That'd be it down here. Time to see Dijkstra. here. Dandelion must have loaded the treasure onto a boat. Yep, he must have. Yeah, so Dandelion, yeah, he asked about the fun- it, it all makes sense now. The fungus, uh, the bathhouse, asking, you know, the bath- the hours for the bathhouse employees, all of that. It makes sense now. He wanted the Rob Dijkstra. And that's really why Dijkstra is upset. Uh, not that way. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Bits of treasure dropped out of the crates, left a clear trail. You know, like the fairy tale, with the crumbs. Hmm, another one. Hansel, Gretel, burning witches. Very fitting for Novigrad. 
Trail leads to the river where the sewer lets out. Breaks off there. My bet, they loaded the treasure onto a boat. Yeah. A cart drawn by sewer rats does seem unlikely. And since boats don't leave trails, it amounts to fuck all. Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Mm -hmm. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. Yep. I missed it. Really? Hmm. About as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. All right. You inspect the pools on the right. I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Nothing interesting here. Tiles full. Something floating on the surface. Oil looks like. Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Found it. Got something? Yeah. Bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four. And bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. By the way, what about Happen? Could have overheard you mention the vault. Has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes. Ironic as that may sound. But his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters. Spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once too. Yeah. True. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. Hmm. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen, who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Margrave Henkel, who's that? Who was that? You mean? Old Coach been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I've not heard. Not surprising. The Honorable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. 
You merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Gotta ask me nicely. I'm not one of your delivery boys. Pardon my tone. I've grown accustomed to ordering folk around and barking as I do it. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you! Oh, wrong way. What a dump. Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. Dandelion made some interesting friends. Footprints. We got something over here. Silver cylinder. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer. Absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or Ceres. Mm -hmm. Five to twelve fifty four. Hmm, satisfying click in the next room over, I think. I got that book. Instructions on how to build a bomb, signed by one Kalkstein. Sugar, and lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium? Looks like they made the bomb here. Siri, Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has Dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. No, not good at all. Dijkstra and Triss. Triss. Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb, I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. 
Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. <laughs> Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stopped by to see if everything was all right. Thanks. You can breathe easy now. In the future, though, remember this. I can look after myself. Fine. You look after yourself, and I'll look after my interests. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So I beg you, can we get to the point? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Not good. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. What I've learned doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Yet you agreed to help me. I am. Doesn't mean I have to confess everything. I'll let your insolence fly this time. But only because his honor, the Margrave, might indeed have something to do with the theft. Hmm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. Mm hmm. So we do your dirty work mm -hmm. while you sit around twiddling your thumbs. Darling, when I'm able to make use of someone, I always do. It's convenient. And safe. Come on, admit you're scared of Menga. Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse son. Mm -hmm. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement overall. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. Information's out of date. We are not. Yes, I know. You parted a week after the summit at Loch Muin, in the woods near where the Lixella flows into the Pontar. But you know what they say. Old love never dies. First, first love. Now, how the hell? <laughs> That's my secret, lovebirds. Really must be going. Good luck. Jeez. Didn't have to disagree so strongly. Put yourself in my shoes. What would you have said? In your shoes, I wouldn't be worrying about what to say to Dijkstra at all. Mm, but we're enough. straight from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then, and thanks. Oh, it was just Triss. <laughs> I was like, whoa, what was that? All right, cool. Let's, uh, let's head out that way. There we go. Glad you're here. 
Listen. Took a look at the building, and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Oh. Mind explaining what this is all about? Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will? And in chains? Yes. No. Can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision, and I won't change it. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. Yeah. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Mm. What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not... Thought you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Nope. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Well, well. Triss Merigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches? They murder kings. Scheme. Start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're mm. done jesting, Merigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you- Shut your gob, ginger whore! And you spit it out! Where's Eilhart? Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by. With my friend Marigold. Fine, grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. Devil's spawn. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing.
Do what you want. Come on, witch. Show you the wonders a pair of pliers can work. You'd be surprised. I believe I told you not to let anyone in. Unless they had information concerning Philippa Isleheart. This witcher says he's got just that. Anyone can climb that. We'll start with your pinky nail. Nah, let's go for your ring finger. This little piggy went to market. But it's not that easy to bring us Triss Merigold. Is that who I hear? Very well. I'll go see her shortly. But first, let us talk. Sit. Sit. Have a drink, Witcher. gotta play into it I guess Sedarian a 1261 vintage year of the massacre of Sintra ah, stop squirming <laughs> this little piggy went home no, no! Kurt please see why Miss Merigold squeals so convincingly Perhaps she needs something. Hot irons, for instance. Speaking of metal, this goblet's silver. Making sure I'm not a Doppler. Ah, oh, it's immediately apparent. A professional. I find that refreshing. But to answer your question, one can never be too careful. True. You'd be surprised how many come here turn to rancid jelly as soon as they grip the goblet. Uh, yeah, I mean... Got a silver sword on my back. That not enough? It proves nothing. Dopplers can change their bodies at will into materials that look and feel like silver as well. Materials that have none of silver's useful properties naturally. See, you're an expert on Dopplers. I'd expect a witcher of all things to understand the value of knowing one's enemy. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none. Now, let us talk shop. I shall pay you twice the usual reward for Merigold. Awfully generous. Why? Well, you've turned in your lover. The emotional trauma it must entail. You deserve compensation. You seem well informed. Mm. So you have to know Triss betrayed me first. Used me as a pawn in the Lodge's game. As I see it, she's getting what she deserves. No, no more. <laughs> Be brave, dear. Just one more fingernail and we'll move on to the other hand. This little piggy went, wee, wee, wee. Ow! Bitch bit me. Oh, the bitch bites. Let's put a collar on her. Dimeritium ought to calm her down. You surprise me, Geralt. Perhaps we can deal after all. You know something about Philippa, but I wager you won't share this information for free. What do you want in return? It's simple. Free Dandelion. A degenerate bard for information about Philippa. Tempting offer, I admit. But I must say no. You see, Why? I have a magnificent execution plan for Dandelion in Oxenford. A breaking wheel, flaying alive, and so forth. 
It should work wonders for the mores of the academic youth and townsfolk. When's this morally instructive spectacle due to take place? When I issue the order, in person. Dandelion will remain in the dungeons beneath Temple Isle until then. Why? So sorry I cannot be of help. Perhaps we can agree different terms. But first, let's see how Miss Marigold fears it. It's grown suspiciously quiet in there. Come. I should tend to your wounds. No need. I'm fine. Well, mostly fine. Should heal in time for my wedding. Sorry. Should have gotten you out sooner. Don't apologize. I knew what I was signing up for. How do I say this? That was just a bit premature. What do you mean? Manga said Dandelion's locked up on Temple Isle. Dungeon right under the temple. He was planning to execute him in Oxenfurt. Also said they'd only let Dandelion out of his cell once Menga gave the order. In person. Shit. I'm sorry, Geralt. I should have thought it through, but when I saw him, I... After what they subjected you to, no need to explain. He... he'd never have agreed to help us. Even if I... I know. Let's not dwell on this. It's all right. think about what to do next. Dandelion's safe for now, though out of reach. We don't stand a chance of breaking him out. Temple Isle's impregnable, and Menga's not likely to order his transfer, or anyone's for that matter. Saw Menga burn a sheet of paper right before we came in here. Could have been something on it that would have helped us. Ah, too late now. So there's no way you could recover the note? Sadly, no. I'm a sorceress, not a miracle worker. Could you revive him? Maybe. If I actually practiced black magic. Haven't sunken that low just yet. Let's search his corpse. Right. Could find something that'll help us. Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait. Something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here. Give it to Dijkstra with my regards. Nothing but dead ends. We'll need to make do. Breaking Dandelion out starting to look like our last option. Geralt, you know me. I'm all for finding solutions. I don't give up easily. But in this case, there's no hope. Not a shred. No one escapes the dungeons beneath the temple. And no one's ever been broken out. Anyone actually tried? They've tried, Geralt. I've tried, to be exact. Shortly before you arrived, it almost cost me my life. Ouch. Meng is the only one who could have ordered Dandelion's release. Yes. Or someone who looks exactly like him. A Doppler? Ah. Mm -hmm. Your old friend Dudu Bibervelt impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Listen, there is one other thing I wanted to talk about, but not here, not now. 
Come by when you have a moment. I'd appreciate it. All right, we need to get out of here. I either go out another way, or ready my sword. Geralt, over here! Well, I'm going to save my game before I continue any further. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Yes, please. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. You there! Mr. Reuven wants a word! Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Who do I spy? Why it's is a good side to see. Rivia? <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will. As soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menga didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere, and 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menga. <laughs> A vault that I need to find on my own. You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. Spare me. I want my reward. Geralt, do all you witches have such nerve? What do you mean? You lied to me. What? You knew from the start who robbed me. But you didn't deign to share that information with me. No, I didn't. <clears throat> no, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure. So stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. Don't bother. I know what happened to Dandelion. Then take my coin. I always pay my debts, even to liars. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. All right. Brought it to me to launch 
Ah, uh, that's a good sight to see. Church of Eternal Fire, uh, their compound burning. Those witch hunters. Yep. I hate them. I'm glad, uh, Church burned it down. And Minga's dead, so that's a plus. Awesome. Minga's dead. Triss got out of there. We know where Dandelion is, but we still need to find him. Uh, we'll continue on next time, guys, uh, with that. So, yeah, I, th this was a lot of fun. Uh, not sure how long this video is going to be, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you leave it a like. Let me know in the comments. Also, if you haven't yet, please make sure you're subscribed. Helps me out a whole lot. Thank you guys for all the support, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.